so work continues on the house and that side of the house is all torn up. Uh, there's going to be a new door that shifts down to the left and um, uh, the window is going to move and all that stuff. So things are changing everywhere. Fresh back from Montana so get to see a lot of things that were done while we were gone. And um, you're wondering why I have a knife in my hands. It's not to cut soap. Uh, it's to cut the pineapple. So I thought I would put that on video. So let's take a look. Been waiting for this. Don't, wouldn't you know it ripened right when we were gone? And uh, turned a bright orange. And here I was worried in knowing when to harvest it. So. Just really snapped off. Oh, it smells good too. Whoa. So there's the pineapple. Pretty nice size. I had to wait for two years for it. Boy, it smells good. So I'm going to wash this off, um, cool it off, and cut it Hawaiian style. And I'll do that on video as well. So to stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and you know I'm in the middle of this big remodel of the house. Four out of five of the rooms are completely torn up, and the back of the house is torn up too to make way for a new deck. And it could be a complete chaotic time in your mind. It's a chaotic time in the actual property, but it's not chaotic up here because I found ways to kind of distract myself and just to be amused by the whole process of um, tearing down and rebuilding. So um, I'm going to show you today another way that I'm distracting myself. Um, went to, of course, um, Montana and I'll show you some of my videos and photos from Montana too. That was a week while the workers were working on the house, so that was good. We didn't have to be in the dust and noise. And in the meantime, I'll show you this picture, what I did with this pineapple top. And I actually learned how to do this on um, YouTube as well. So I cut off the top of this pineapple and I stuck it in some water in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because you can look it up on YouTube. So I, anyway, I planted this two years ago and from what I read it takes about two years to produce uh, fruit. So um, I've been enjoyed watching this thing and wondered when do I pick it? I've never picked a pineapple before. They said to wait until it turns color. And I looked at it every day and I only saw maybe a slightest bit of orange. And when we came back from the trip, this is what I found. Uh, I took pictures of it on the tree and then I picked it. And the reason why it's this bright orange, uh, so I've learned, is that it's because the commercial pineapple companies have to pick it when it's a bit green so it'll survive shipping and all that but the best way to enjoy a pineapple I heard was to pick it when it's ripe you know it's just like tomatoes so um, my parents were born and raised in Hawaii and my uncles and parents taught me how to um, quote unquote um, properly cut a pineapple as you know they have all these little eyes that they say can itch in, in, your, itch in your mouth so um, there's a way to take care of that without removing so much of the flesh so you have more to enjoy. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. Then I'll get back to some of the things going around this remodel. Um, notice that that's the only part of our sink that remains right now. So um, I'm just doing the best I can with this little sink. But this smells incredible. And I'm going to cut off the top and put it in the refrigerator and cut it. Hawaiian style, the way my aunts and uncles and mom and dad showed me how to cut a pineapple to maximize the flesh that you eat. So I'll get back to you on that. So look at this beautiful top to this pineapple also. It's beautiful like that because it didn't have to survive shipping. It didn't get crunched up. I bent it right here when I put it in the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator to thicken the juice a little bit so I don't lose as much of it when I cut it. And the first thing I'm going to do, hope you can see that, is cut the top. And my favorite kind of knife to use for this is not my famous pink soap knife. Um, it's this serrated long knife 
and it works really well. The other thing I'll tell you, um, although you can look on Facebook, is you can just twist the flesh off of this. I should have done that for first. And it breaks off so cleanly when you want to start a new plant. You can plant that. I would tear off some of these leaves also to make a little bit of a stem. And I will be planting this also. It's a great start to a plant. Also look for the little growing parts in the middle because that's where the new growth comes from. And I hear some companies to protect their hybrids will tear out the middle so you can't start a new plant so that they're the only ones that can provide it. Um, then I'll turn the pineapple around and cut off the stock end like so. I've got everything ready. I've got my plastic bags to store it in since my containers for storage are all packed away. I can't even find them. So what I want to do is cut off just a little bit all the way down. And sometimes I don't cut much of anything at all because I don't want to waste any of the fruit. So I could cut a little bit more of that. Notice there's still some of this rind around there, but I did want to expose the eyes. And sometimes you can find pineapple seeds. And I should too, because I know the bees were really active when it was in flower. So I'm doing a little curved action around the pineapple, not just flat down. Commercial processors just have a, a nice cylinder, but that cuts out a lot of the meat. This method takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. corners a little bit. The next thing you're going to do is do some diagonal cuts to take out the eyes and get the same effect by um, not even going completely on the diagonal, just where you see the eyes and that way you save more fruit. And sometimes they're not perfect diagonals like this. You get to be faster at it the more you do it. So you think that I'm taking well chunks of meat here, but remember you're saving everything around this. So you end up having more flesh to eat. And boy, this smells good. I can't wait to taste it. First pineapple I've actually grown all the way to having fruit. So on this side you can see that I cut a little bit more into the fruits. There's not as much I to cut out here, so I'm not going to even make a diagonal. This also makes a really nice presentation at the table, even when you cut it into spears. Let's see, I know I'm, I can see this, but you can't very well, but i got to watch what I'm doing so I don't cut off my fingers. Still need those. I can tell it's nice and ripe too because it's really juicy. Notice it's not running juice all over the place too. The refrigeration helps. Almost done. Let me get this dimple out of there. Okay, that's all done. That didn't take long at all. That was all real time. So notice I've got this little spiral going on there. And the next thing I do is I slice it right through the core. 
Now, some people really like that tough core, but I don't. So the best way to get that core out of there, and it's not a really thick core. Which is good. Is I cut it into quarters. And then what I'll do is just slice that tough core out of there. If you know someone in your family that likes that core, you can keep that for them. Do the same here. It's so tender, I can't wait to eat it. Okay, so I'm just gonna plate what I'm not cutting. I don't have a big cutting board right now because of the remodel, everything's packed up. So here's a spear. Nice and see for presentation, it looks pretty good. And you can also cut them in more like a small enough serving size. I'll put that on the plate and show those to you later. If you hear any noise, that's my construction crew starting to come in. Hey, how are you? Sorry, I'm a little early. No, that's okay. Look at that, dude. Yeah. Fun. I'll let you have a taste too. That's my, my uh, our, our um, contractor that just came in making a video of this too. we be online? Uh huh. All right. That's Hello, fine. <laughs> we love him. He's great. When we were in Montana, he actually uh, had to move some things out of the way for the construction job and just did it in such an organized way. We can still find everything. Arranged my soap bins so that I could still find them for some orders. So here are my scraps. Um, I'm also going to have a nice place to build a compost pile. So I can use these instead of throw them away. There you go. I hope I didn't I wasn't out of the camera the whole time I was doing that. But there you go. Let's take a little piece here. Make sure I save some of this to share it, but mmm. It's so good and juicy. And doesn't have that typical acid it's not just acidity, it's an enzyme that pineapples have that kind of burn your mouth a little bit and I heard that if you get it and pick it when it's absolutely right that you don't get any of that and that they're right these pineapples are awesome just like in Hawaii if you can get one from someone that works on the pineapple fields and pick it for you and give it to you right when it's fresh uh, I remember I had that when I was a little kid so Give this a try just so that you can have really, really fresh, ripe pineapple. And I'll get back to our remodel after I stop eating this pineapple.